Hello and welcome to OnlinePHPClass.com. I'm going to begin with the introduction to the course and then we'll dive into the material. First of all, I'd like to tell you why you're going to take this class. Uh, basically, this is a step-by-step -step guided approach to learning PHP. It is an easy approach and at the same time we're covering material that Although it's out there on the internet, um, actually I extracted the key elements of PHP for you so that you can become productive with PHP and LAMP, which we'll talk about later, uh, very easily and very quickly. In addition, we have a mastermind forum for answers to your questions. Feel free to post any questions you have in there and uh, one of the trainers and or fellow students uh, will respond. You can also learn how to create really cool web applications and enhance your existing websites. You can do things like track visitors, create products, and even make some money. And you can enhance existing free open source projects. You can also, as we talked about just a few seconds ago, make some money. And basically, want to make a point that with the material that I'm about to share with you, you can definitely create some pretty cool web applications and make some money selling them or developing for other people if you're a webmaster or if you want to become a webmaster. So here are some important points. The course does build very very quickly so go through the whole thing and evaluate it at that point. I also want to make mention that you should go through it in the order that it's presented. Each section builds on the sections before it for both content and exercise. So it's important to go through the course in the order in which it's presented. Even if you have a foundation of PHP, going through it in the order that it's presented will give you a stronger foundation and it may even introduce you elements of PHP that you didn't know of before. You should have some basic understanding of programming concepts although I definitely cover some of them as we go through the course. And by the end of the course, you'll have a strong foundation in common PHP concepts with the ability to build on them to write your own code and edit other people's code. So here is what we're covering together. We're going to go over the introduction of PHP. We'll then talk about variables and operators. We'll go into control structures, include files and functions, how to get data in and out of a form, including sanitizing the data received. Working with MySQL through PHP. We'll talk about advanced forms, including how to pre-populate forms and how to pre-select form elements for the user to choose. We'll talk about sessions and cookies. We'll also talk about PHP's implementation of time and date, which actually is uh, very important and there's really cool things in that section, as well as every other section. There's uh, really cool things throughout the course. And we'll also talk about uploading and working with files. And it's okay if you don't know what these things are at the time of going through this brief overview because each individual section will cover what the topic is, um, why it's important, and how to implement it. In fact, here's how the course works. Each unit begins with a slideshow, so we will cover the content. We'll talk about why the section is important. I'll give you the content, and then we'll talk. I'll do a demo for you uh, on video where you can watch me uh, perform the demo. And then I'll give you an exercise. Some of the exercises are for you to do the demo. Some of the exercises are built onto the demo. Uh, and some of the exercises are just for you to do in addition. There are also videos that cover the demo. So this is what I was just talking about where you're watching over my shoulder as I use the content presented in this slideshow. I will be doing it, uh, basically recording it live here. So if I make a mistake in my code, you're going to see it. You're basically watching a developer in action as we go through the course. I'm trying to keep it as realistic for you as possible so that if we encounter things down the line, we're going to encounter them together, uh, including debugging and stuff like that. So you'll then have an exercise where you have the opportunity to put the content and demo to use. The exercises are very important. You definitely want to take the time to do them because they will help layer in the foundation. And the exercises do build on one another for the most part. So definitely put a good faith effort in doing them. 
If you do have questions that come up along the way, either while we're going through the course or while you're out developing on your own, feel free to post them in the forum, like I said earlier. Um, I'm definitely here to help you and to get the most out of PHP and, and your development. What I realized is a lot of times there aren't so much, there really isn't that much of a community out there in the LAMP programming where you can go out and program on the LAMP stack, Linux, Apache, MySQL, and PHP. And some of my friends that come to me and said, you know, is there a way that I can be taught PHP, you know, walk step by step through it? And several of them had asked me to, you know, if there was a way to do that. And so I basically said, uh, not that I know of, how about I make one? And that's what this course is. And, and this course, I, I really believe, will teach you PHP if you, if you follow it. All right, so what tools we're going to be using? We're going to be using XAMPP and DevPHP. And the reason why I want to tell you first off why we're going to use these tools is because I want you to be able to develop on your Windows machine uh, just right there on your local workstation. I don't necessarily want you to go out and get a web hosting account or anything like that if, if you don't already have one. I want you to get the foundations of PHP down. Uh, and you can you know, do that by using these tools. Um, XAMPP provides an Apache web server. It also provides PHP MyAdmin so that you can have a GUI, a graphical user interface to MySQL, and you also get MySQL. Okay, DevPHP provides an interactive development environment for PHP development as well as an Apache web server for testing. And you also have easy access to the PHP configuration. These tools are free and powerful and they will give you a nice foundation um, on PHP and MySQL. Okay, so what we're going to do now is go ahead and follow along with me. We're going to uh, download and install the tools, and then in the next section we'll cover some of the basics of PHP and then begin using the tools. Basically, below this video you should have some links for XAMPP and DevPHP. I already downloaded them, so what I'll do is I'll move on with actually installing them. Just download them and then double click on the icons for the download and that'll begin the installation. So we're going to move on to the to the installation of the tools.